Escape from Egypt. Moses went down to Egypt with Aaron, his brother, and they went to Pharaoh, saying, The Lord, the God of Israel, says to you, Let my people go, so they may hold a feast to me in the wilderness. Who is the Lord? I do not know him. I will not let his people go. And Pharaoh was so angered, he ordered the taskmasters to force the children of Israel, who were their slaves, to work still harder. So their suffering increased. And Moses turned to the Lord, saying, Why have you done this to your people? Why did you ever send me, since I spoke to Pharaoh in your name? He has heaped misery upon us, and you have done nothing to help us. You shall see now what I will do to Pharaoh. He will send my people forth. He will drive them out. And Moses warned Pharaoh that God would bring great troubles down upon Egypt unless the children of Israel went free. But Pharaoh refused to believe him until the troubles came. First the waters turned red as blood, and no one could drink them. Then the land filled with frogs. They entered every house in Egypt, even the palace. Mighty Pharaoh grew frightened. Stop, Stop the frogs! I will let your people go! Yes! Yes! But then Pharaoh broke his word. He would not let them go. Not even when God brought new troubles upon Egypt. Flies and gnats and locusts that ate the crops. Hailstones that flattened everything to the ground and darkness in the middle of the day. Still, Pharaoh would not let them go. Then the Lord said to Moses, One plague more I will bring upon Pharaoh. Then he will let you go. And that night... The Lord struck down the firstborn in Egypt. Not a house in Egypt was without its dead. But the angel of death passed over the homes of the children of Israel because their doorways were marked, as the Lord had commanded, with lamb's blood. And they were spared. And Pharaoh cried out, Go! Leave Egypt! Take your flocks and your goods and be gone! That very night, the children of Israel left Egypt all of them, and their numbers were many thousands. And the men of Israel went up from the land ready for battle. And as they marched, the Lord went before them, by day as a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way, by night as a pillar of fire to give them light. But now Pharaoh's men came to him, saying, What have we done? We've lost our slaves. Not for long. We will bring them back. And Pharaoh mounted his chariot and ordered out all his troops, and they set out after the children of Israel. The army of Egypt came within sight of the Israelites, where they had camped beside the sea. And the people feared for their lives, for the Egyptians seemed so mighty. But Moses said, Fear not. The Lord will fight for you. And it was so. For the angel of God stood between the children of Israel and the Egyptians, and the pillar of cloud stood behind them. So Pharaoh's men could not see to attack them. Then, at God's order, Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind and made dry land where the sea had been. And the children of Israel went out into the midst of the sea with a wall of water on their right and a wall of water on their left. And now the Pharaoh saw them fleeing and he called to his captains, After him! The slaves must not escape! And the Egyptian chariots thundered after them. And God said to Moses, Stretch out your hand! And let the waters come back. And Moses did as the Lord commanded. And Pharaoh cried out to his men, Run! Run for your lives! The Lord fights for Israel! Save yourselves! 
But it was too late. Of all the chariots and horsemen, of all the army of Egypt that had gone into the sea, not one remained. And Moses said, Who is like you, O Lord, in might? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, working wonders? You are my strength and my salvation, and you will reign forever and ever. Thank you.